Director Peter Fairley weighed in on the current political climate surrounding Hollywood this weekend which he says is actually not all that liberal The screenwriter, whose film Green Book nabbed three Golden Globes Sunday night, says he believes the movie shows that differing parties can, in fact, unite Speaking from the BAFTA Tea Party red carpet on Saturday night, Farrelly, 62, told DailyMail.com, you can learn that there are no two points. We're all the same. We're all human beings who want the same things. We want love, we want happiness, we want to be treated equally. That's not asking that much and you realize when you talk to each other, you've got the same goals. You're coming at them from different ways and there are hurt feelings, but we are all the same people who want the same things. So if you do talk, you recognize that, and you get closer, and closer, and closer. Scroll down for video. Fairly revealed, however, that working on the movie led him to realize that America has not progressed much since the time period. I wish we were showing this movie and looking back and saying, can you believe that's what America was like in 1962? God, it's gotten good, he added. But it hasn't. Things have changed, things have improved, and then things have gotten worse. Progress doesn't go like that, up. It goes like this, up and down, and there are downturns, and we're in one. And that's why I think Green Book is an important movie to remind us that we are all the same people. No matter how far we seem to be, all you have to do is talk to each other, and there's a common ground in there, and there's a way to unite. The 62-year-old director famed for comedy hits like Dumb and Dumber, and there's something about Mary said he feels cable news is not doing much to help the current divide in the country. Unfortunately, people aren't talking. People are watching Fox News, and they're watching MSNBC, and that's not a discussion. That's being talked to, he said. But what we've got to do is talk to each other the way people always did in the past. And despite the wave of anti-Trump bashing in Hollywood, Fairly admitted that sentiment is not reflective of the industry insisting Tinseltown isn't all left-winged. He urged his industry compatriots and Donald Trump to reach middle ground in the future saying, let's work it out, because you'd be shocked at how much we have in common. Many A-list liberal stars from Robert De Niro to Meryl Streep have openly bashed President Trump for his policies, behavior and outlook. It is seen the POTUS fire back at Hollywood celebs and cause more friction. Fairly added, we're just so divided right now. Even in the identity of Hollywood as being the liberal place, when you're in Hollywood, you know that's not all true. In fact, if you look at Ronald Reagan, he was not liberal, Clint Eastwood, not liberal, Arnold Schwarzenegger, not liberal. If you look at most action stars in fact, they're not liberal, and they go on to politics. Some of the biggest stars in Hollywood aren't liberal. They come from the right. So to be identified as everybody one way is just inaccurate, and what it does is it helps people out there say they're thinking one way, but they're not. I live here. I know there are both sides of this story. I just think it's easy to characterize everybody the same way from Hollywood. Well, you know, I'm from Rhode Island, not from Hollywood, and I came from where there are both sides and I still believe in both sides. I know there are arguments on both sides, but I believe there is something in between that you can find by just talking, and I guess that's the whole point of the movie. 
fairly does hope Trump will watch Green Book, however. The film won Best Motion Picture, Musical Comedy, with writers Nick Vallelonga, Brian Curry and Farrelly winning Best Screenplay and Mahershala Ali winning his first Golden Globe for Best Performance by an Actor in a Supporting Role in Any Motion Picture for his role as famed pianist Doc Don Shirley. Share this article. Share. Fairley was also nominated for Best Director, but lost out to Alfonso Curian who directed Roma. I hope that everybody sees this movie, and it's not talking to one side or the other. I've been asked, what do you think of the guy in the White House? I'm not going to answer that. I'll tell you why, because no matter what I say, I'm going to lose half the audience, and I want everybody to see this. I want everybody to see it, so yes, that would be a good thing. Fairly spoke exclusively at the American Airlines, BBC America and Jaguar Land Rover BAFTA Tea Party held at the Four Seasons Hotel in Beverly Hills. The afternoon event raises awareness and funds for BAFTA's year-round education and new talent programming.